Okay. First off, can we please talk about how adorable that flashback was in the beginning with Sho and Shinra and their mom. Like, that was like the most adorable thing and at the same time with what Shinra's mom said that like if you don't pick up your toys and stuff, you're gonna be taken to the nether or whatever and then, <coughs> and then Shinra's freaking out. I love that parallel about what she said and then what Shinra said to show when all like when, when he was in, when he was in the in the little in the uh what is it called the car or carriage or whatever it's called I forgot what it's called when you put a baby in a uh, a cradle or something like that like show holding Shinra's finger was the cutest thing and then him saying that like if you ever end up in the nether I will come save you no matter what saying that to show and then the evangelist actually being in what like they call the nether but it's like the the old subway uh like um tunnels and stuff like that from old tokyo and stuff like i really loved that parallel between that between what his mom said about the nether or whatever and then shinra talking to show when they were like little children or when show was a baby saying that like i'll save you from the nether no matter what and then like he's going in the nether with company eight to get him to to f save show who's in the nether i love that parallel that parallel was like clean solid and like you really you understood it like right away and stuff and i loved it but this episode was bro this was maki's time like my baby girl my number one in fire force the way she handled all of those like evangelist characters like they were nothing using those um the what are they called the uh the techyo or whatever that um that uh Vulcan made for her and I love it how everybody was so scared in the nether and stuff even the captain he's like oh I'm in the nether like freaking out when they first in there but like all of it it was like hilarious and then they all get separated because of the mirage guy and then like the smoke screen that they all had and stuff and the guy who was able to change faces like made everybody separate Iris and Tamaki were by themselves with some other guy that was dressed as Tamaki, but he sounded like an old man. Like, he didn't even, like, like mask his voice, which was funny. And, like, Iris had a hard time figuring out that that wasn't Tamaki, and Tamaki had to use, like, her, her, her lewd, her lewd lecher, like, ability and shit. And then Iris is like, oh my gosh, it is you! And Tamaki's like, of course it's me. Like, that was hilarious. And, uh, like, the whole thing with Maki freaking out, like, oh my gosh, is that a ghost? Like, like a water droplet like falls and she's like oh my gosh like that was hilarious and then all of those evangelist people i think there was like i think a dozen or something like headed to where maki was and then maki's like oh thank goodness you guys aren't ghosts and now i can kick all your asses and shit bro like when she used those things that vulcan gave her was so sick she put on her witch's her witch's hat or whatever annihilating all these people like all all these evangelist guys saying that like we're also combat like ready and stuff and he's saying that maki looks like she she has some like muscle and things like that saying that like oh but we're we we're experienced in combat too and maki's like oh doesn't look like it like that shit was funny maki wiping the floor with all of them like he, the, the guy with the 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 fire mace or whatever like fighting her like she's able to like block like his ability which was really cool obviously it seemed like she had a little difficulty there but then like she oh my gosh the way that she took her out like the animation in that entire sequence was so beautiful like you got she, she punched him with like in the gut and then used both of those things that Vulcan made for her like hit him in the face and hit him in the side while she was punching him in the gut and he fell down saying that like you may be a brawny woman but you're still a woman like that triggered me like immediately because i do know plenty of women in real life who are stronger than me bodybuilders and shit like that that uh, like that that kind of like made me annoyed too but then but then like uh maki didn't even like realize there's some he's she's just like stepping over him being like like you call me a uh like a cyclops or something like that 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 brawly cyclops thing that she always talked about in the beginning and stuff uh cyclops gorilla and that shit was funny and she annihilated him so that was great
And then Tamaki, like, uh, her development, or not, it's not necessarily development, but, like, her her character was just really awesome in this episode, finding this guy called the Salt, who pretty much can make, like, f uh, like giant, they look like giant, uh, like, missile, like, flame missiles or something like that, which are, which are cool and stuff, and he was attacking her and Iris, um, and they, they were fighting and stuff, and then Tamaki had some sort of, like, thing in her head, like, uh, like, well, flashback or whatever, um, like, to the captain, saying that the captain was like, hey, you know, you're really part of company, f company one, you don't have to go with us, are you sure you want to go with us, and she's like, of course, I'm part of company eight right now, I'm going on your mission and stuff, and then, like, she's walking past Shinra in the flashback, and he's like, hey, if you ever need my help, or anything, all you gotta do, call me anytime. Where she kind of blushes and she's like, "I don't." She's pretty. She's pretty much like, "I, I don't need that." Like, I, I can handle myself, right? And she really did handle herself, even though at the end of the day, like the her her lewd lecture thing kind of affected what happened with assault and everything. Like the the way assault was taken out was so funny that like he's like. Off I go, and then because he accidentally grabbed her boob because Tamaki went after him, and like her ability, like uh, was able to deflect his ability, which was crazy. He, Assault was like, whoa, what's going on? Like she actually deflected it. She has high resistance to flames and stuff like that. And it was really awesome. Then she went after him while Iris was sitting back waiting, and like she, she actually like tripped, like she always does. Assault did a boob grab, like he assaulted her pretty much. And then, like, he, him saying, off I go, and he's, like, about to fade away because he he grabbed the girl's boob or whatever, was, that was, that was so funny. Like, I was, I was actually cracking up at that. Like, it made me laugh so much. Like, I'm like, this is ridiculous. And then she accidentally, like, uh, and then he accidentally grabs her, and then he falls over, and he's like, you can't, like, get off of me and stuff. And then she falls over, and then, like, he's like, He's about to like pass out or something and then Iris is behind him and she just smacks him with the pole with the metal like rod Oh my gosh That whole sequence was like one of the funniest things ever like I love this show that they're able to make such really good like comedy moments in some such serious situations and I love, love it. it. It's reminiscent of, like, the way that they're so, like, they're able to put comedy and this action and drama, like, together so, like, amazingly. Reminds me of a lot of Marvel Studios, like, uh, movies and such. Like, like, Avengers Endgame, Avengers Infinity War, and stuff like that. There was a lot of, like, funny moments and stuff, but you know it's something, like, very serious and dramatic that's going on. They gotta get, they gotta get this shit done with what is going on and stuff. And I really felt that with this episode, and a lot of other episodes, honestly. Like, this, this show is so good with their comedy mixing in with the action and drama about what's really going on and the dark depths of the nether whatever's going on and stuff it, it was so it was so good like i i don't like it's man, man it's one of my favorites of of this year favorite animes of this year and this episode i think it was episode 19 into the nether like that was so so great on it like I, I, I don't know, like, I don't know what else to say about that, that, like, you know, Maki's time to shine was so badass, and then you got Tamaki's time, which was, like, you know, is a badass mixed with the, her, her lucky lecher, uh, lewdness, uh, which was funny, and then Assault being, like, she, he, he looks like he, he's a slaughterer, so he's, like, I'm gonna kill you guys, like, instantly and stuff, whatever, and you think he's, like, tough shit, but then when he boob grabs, like, like, uh, Tamaki, he looks like he's gonna pass out, and then you got Iris doing her thing, knocking him out, and then he's like, I can't lose to you guys, so then, like, the, the way that Tamaki kicking the shit out of, out of Assault, and then, like, uh, Iris assaulting the hell out of Assault's head, like, beating the hell out of him with this, with this metal rod, and then, like, at the end when they're walking away, you see the blood all over the rod, I'm like, damn, Iris, like, calm down, like, well, you know, don't calm down, but I'm like, damn, girl, and, like, bro, this whole, it was so good, like, oh, man, this arc looks like it's gonna be so much fun, and, man, seeing show, 
and stuff sitting there saying like take all these people out when like none of them are gonna get taken out or something but um and it, like it was funny and it was so adorable again like the beginning of this episode was so so freaking cute and adorable and again i love the parallel between uh what uh shinra said to his little his little brother show and like what uh, shinra's mother said to shinra and stuff and then that whole thing that promise literally like saving show from the nether because shows literally there was just great and all around comedy was so good like it was it was great action was amazing all of the fights like tamaki's fight maki's fight fantastic stuff beautiful beautifully done and everything but what do you guys think about this episode leave down in the comments your thoughts about this episode your thoughts about what i said and like the video if you did like the video if you liked the episode like the video if you liked anything i had to say like the video if you like me and subscribe to the channel for more reviews vlogs unboxings live reactions and theme discussion videos and things like that so gentlemen stay classy ladies stay sexy but most important everybody you gotta stay a little nasty all right so peace and love and i'll see y'all later in the next video peace out i'm in the post to be with you always and plus ultra and i'm sorry for for the light not being as bright as it usually is because it's it's kind of dark out right now and it's only three o'clock but whatever peace out and i'll see y'all later in the next video